Hi guys, welcome to another plastered unboxing video with Thomas. Today we're going to take a look at something that I think is pretty interesting while enjoying a triple carmelite in, of course, its appropriate glass. So, cheers guys. Hmm, very delicious. By the way, if you like triple beers, this one is definitely uh, worth giving a shot. So, today we're going to take a look at something that is uh, pretty uh, unique, I think. I don't think I've ever seen a keyboard like this before. It is um, <laughs> something actually that my uh, my brother linked to me before. He said, uh, oh, dude, you should check this out. And uh, he sent me a link to this uh, <laughs> product page and I emailed him back saying, uh, Actually, I've already got one coming to me. <laughs> the uh, company contacted me for a review, and uh, I thought, well, this actually seems like something that's uh, pretty unique. I've not seen this before. So, yeah. Thankfully, this time, uh, this bag relinquishes a little bit easier than the previous one did. By the way, in the previous video, someone commented on, uh, saying, could you please do this without doing any drinking? Uh, to which I say, uh, um, no, I'm thirsty. Bugger off. <laughs> ah, nice. So, fairly... Oh, no wait. Fairly unassuming outer box. Uh, boo, 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 boo. LP85BK win number one. There's really no markings on this. Maybe the actual product box is inside this as well. Or maybe there is none. Maybe it's just this bland uh, outer box. Who knows? Maybe it's a PR box. It's also possible. They're usually white, uh, especially if they're prototypes, but I don't think this is a prototype. Yeah, I think this is just a shipping box. Yes. It looks like... There you go. It looks like the product box is on the inside. Get rid of that. The... Vessels keyboard. I hope you can see that from here. Uh, LP85 Mac style mechanical keyboard. I'll come back to that in a second, but you'll probably immediately understand as soon as I open the box. What does it say? Compact 85 keys, ultra thin, wired slash wireless, optical switches, that should give you a hint as to why I picked this. 19 plus dynamic backlit, uh, don't know what that is, and multi OS support, which looks like it covers uh, Windows, Mac, and is that Android? It's not Linux, is it? I think it's Android. Anything else in this box? Looks very simple. This looks almost like a Logitech symbol. Um, name, Vissel's keyboard, blah, 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 blah. Oh, interesting. It does have some, um, there's some data on the keyboard on here. Battery, 2000 milliamp hour. Switch type, low profile optical switches. That's why I accepted this. Actuation force. It's not very often that that is listed on a keyboard like this. 50 grams, plus or minus 10 grams. Pre-travel 1.2 and total travel 2.5. So this is a low travel keyboard with 2.5 millimeters of travel and it actuates pretty much exactly halfway through. Right, the rest I'm going to not bother you with because that's going to be boring. Right, let's take off the sleeve. I've got to rehydrate, you know, especially with this, uh, what is it, 8%? I think it's eight and a half percent. Yeah, it's important to stay hydrated in times like this. Come on. Come on, come on, there you go. Hmm, some padding on the inside of the box. Nice, that's pretty good. Uh, looks like a reference card. Blah, 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 whatever. And here is the keyboard. Now, the article that my brother linked to me was basically titled something along the lines of 
looks exactly like a Mac keyboard, but isn't. And that's exactly what they seem to be going for because this is aluminium. It's kind of difficult to see because it's dark aluminium. It's kind of gray, slightly blue purplish gray uh, and dark keys. I, th I think you can also get them in, uh, what is it, metallic colored aluminium, just uncolored aluminium with white keys, which looks a lot more than a standard Mac keyboard. Um, but still, this is really quite um, similar in terms of styling. Um, very low profile, as you can see. I think it's uh, only about a centimeter on average, maybe a little bit more, but not that much. Uh, type C charging port, a switch that says cable or Bluetooth, because as I mentioned previously, this is uh, wired or wireless, which is nice that they give you the option to do both. And uh, one thing I immediately notice is that, I'm gonna try and see if I can make that clear to you, it is taller than you might expect of one of those Windows, uh, sorry, Mac style keyboards, but not in terms of overall height, it, the keys stick up a little bit more, you know? They, they're not quite as flat as you would expect. Um, I think it weighs a little over half a kilo. Read that on the box. All right, let's uh, give this a short little try. Is that in frame? Yeah, that's in frame. Wow, this is very light, much lighter than I thought. So I'll make a, a diagram of this in the, the actual review. I don't really review keyboards during my unboxings, but it's very interesting to note that this is, from what I understood, essentially a scissor switch type keyboard, but it's not membrane based, it's optoelectric, and it's also clicky. Again, many things that you wouldn't really suspect coming off of something that looks like this. Um, very light, much lighter than I thought it would be. And the tactility is also very light. Interesting, definitely gonna have to talk about that. Uh, keycaps are not quite the same as Mac keycaps because I think these are laser ablated ABS, just looking at it which makes sense, they're dark keys and you want to backlight them. You want the legends to light up so you need something transparent. You can't do the, uh, I'm not actually sure what modern Mac keyboards have as keycaps. I think it's either die sublimed PBT, I think, or maybe ABS, or I, I'm not actually sure. I'd have to look at it. <laughs> Even though I have, I think, four or five or something lying around here. I can't recall off the top of my head. It must be the beer. In any case, they're obviously not transparent. Um, another interesting thing to note is that it's a, a compact layout. They uh, usually call something like this a 75%, even though it has 85 keys. Um, it means it has a lot of keys on it, but it's a relatively compact form factor, which is why they shunted a lot of keys into each other. There is usually a fair bit of variance between keyboards with this type of layout. Anyway, let's uh, see what else this box includes. So it looks like you can lift out the bottom of this, and it in oh, interesting. And it includes a whole bunch of stickers. They definitely have this brand seems to have a green and black and white color scheme. I think that might be their logo. Which they also give a bunch of stickers of. Uh, <laughs> A little card that says thank you and also pop in your life with ease. I have to look really closely to see that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's really thin lettering, but that seems like a really weird slogan. Uh, Thanks a million, dear customer. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm quite a customer, but. <laughs> uh, Manual, blah, 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 blah. That's just to, I don't know. Hopefully I won't need that. And a cable, USB A to USB C. Let's uh, see if we can give this a go. Right. Can 
come out, come out. I'll try it out in Bluetooth at some point, but I don't want to hold up the video too long, so let's just try it over cable. I think I've still got a spare USB port left. Hopefully this responds well to USB hubs. I use a USB hub on my desk. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, probably it's that thing there. It's very easy to connect multiple devices and keyboards to just quickly switch without having to reach all the way around to your uh, computer. And let's see, cable mode. Plug that in. And then stick that in here. Key. Whoa. Over the rainbow. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's uh, pre-programmed with a, a rainbow effect. Let me just switch the lighting off for a sec. There you go, you can see that. Looks kind of cute on the camera. Hmm. Does it work? Okay. Wow, this is so different from the <laughs> keyboard that I'm using in the meantime, which is that thing there, the thing I unboxed recently. What was it, NJ80? These are two very, very different keyboards. <laughs> interesting key feel though, and interesting sound. It looks so, so simple, this keyboard, but there is a lot more behind it than you would think. Oh, I can already see some things I'm gonna comment on during the review with regards to lighting, but um, I'll save that for later. I think overall it's not a bad looking keyboard though. I like this uh, this look. I know a lot of people who like low profile chiclet style keyboards like this, uh, especially the people who are used to Mac keyboards in the office. I really have no idea why they would uh, like this sort of thing, but well, uh, if that's your thing, I guess. Especially low profile and even wireless keyboards, that tends to be kind of something that some people are into. Who knows, maybe this might be a, a good alternative for them because honestly, I can't stand those fucking app, Apple chiclet pieces of shit. I, I hate those scissor switch keyboards that they make. And they're really expensive and they constantly break as well. Uh, I should know, I keep having to order replacements for them because, you know, somebody wiped a damp cloth over them to try and clean them and then they instantly break. So, there are many reasons why I thought this was uh, an interesting one to try out and show to you guys. Um, I'm not going to give a verdict yet because these things always take a little bit of time to get used to, but who knows. Anyway, I think uh, I've been <laughs> blabbing for long enough by now. I'd say I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.